Chichen Itza, near Cancun, Mexico, is one of the most impressive sites of all the Mayan ruins, a World Heritage site that receives more than 1.5 million visitors every year. As a civil engineer, I marvel at the incredible humans that constructed these architectural wonders. Just imagine, they must have been so smart, innovative, and imaginative. I also love the modern amazing wonders, like the Dubai Tower. It's twice as tall as the Empire State Building, and it took an average of 12,000 workers per day six years to build it. But just as impressive to me are the hardworking people that daily build our communities for us. I've had the privilege of working with many modern construction workers who I admiringly refer to as humans in hard hats. <laughs> no, they're not out building pyramids, but they are spending long days and often nights building our roads, bridges, and buildings. And many of them are doing it without a college degree. But just because they work hard, it doesn't mean they aren't smart. As I have associated with these smart, hardworking people, I have felt a great desire and passion to share two things with the world. One, we need to increase the level of respect and appreciation for those who build our communities. And two, Incredible opportunities are available for those interested in fields including construction that don't require a college degree. Unfortunately, our society doesn't always share the same belief. A recent news story reported on the discipline strategy of a local high school. It's basically a three-strike system. And you know what happens when you get your third strike? As your punishment, you are sent to the CTE, Career and Technical Education class, to learn carpentry skill. Are you kidding me? We should not be teaching our students that it's a punishment to learn skilled trades. Instead, we should respect and appreciate those who build things and we should encourage those that don't fit the traditional college model to learn things like carpentry or plumbing or cosmetology or culinary skills. I suggest today three points that will help us to better appreciate the humans in hard hats and to re-examine our society's current emphasis on getting a college degree. First, I challenge you for one day to keep track of everything you enjoy that someone else has built. The house you wake up in, the water that comes out of your tap, the toilet you flush, the road you drive on, the building you work in, the bridges, the schools, the restaurants, the theaters, even the baseball field and the pickleball court wouldn't be there for your enjoyment if someone else didn't build them. I think you'll be amazed at what you see in a day. And everything that they build, from the sidewalks to the roads to the water and sewer system, it all has one main purpose, to support human life. Tradespeople work hard daily to support our lives and the lives of your family and your friends. So let's begin today to raise our level of appreciation and support for these hardworking folks. Second, even though the costs of college continue to rise, high school counselors persist in promoting the idea that you can't be successful if you don't go to college. I've had these conversations while raising all four of my children and the message about the necessity of college remains the same. But did you know that over 40% of the students that start college, they'll never finish their degree? That's almost half. And those that do graduate from college, the average college debt is now over $35,000. 
newly graduated young people face enough challenges without adding staggering debt. There's not one right path to success, and there's not one right path that everyone needs to follow. Some possible options are, yes, get a college degree. Some careers can only be obtained through a specific college degree. Or participate in what I call earn while you learn. By getting some skilled trade training and then paying college expenses with a good job while attending college. Technical schools are a great opportunity to earn while you learn. My youngest daughter completed a nine-month pharmacy technician program while she was in high school, and she has a great job at a pharmacy, earning a great salary while she attends college. Or enter into an apprenticeship program. The construction industry estimates in 2021 there will be a shortage of 1.5 million people to fill essential positions. That's 1.5 million jobs available and waiting for workers. If a high school graduate chooses construction and on-the-job training over a traditional college degree, in four years, their average salary will be $10,000 more than the recent college graduate, and they will carry no debt. As I have worked in the construction industry, I have asked many other professionals, why can't we get more people to work in construction? A good friend of mine, who's also the president of a large home building company, said to me, Sid, I know you have three daughters. I also know if one of your daughters brought home a boyfriend who said he had no interest in going to college because he wanted to attend technical school and work in the trades, you would be thinking to yourself, oh, this boy, he's not good enough for my daughter. My daughter deserves someone who's going to college and will be successful. I told him I disagreed. In the past, I may have preferred a boyfriend with a college plan, but I have so much admiration for the people that work in the trades. I respect them just as much as those that choose college as their route to a career. Well, fast forward with me four years later. My daughter Nikki's boyfriend, Sterling, attended technical school while in high school and has worked in the trades. Sterling is now 23, and recently he bought his first house. He hasn't been to college, but he bought a house and put $30,000 as a down payment. I think Sterling is successful. I think Sterling has a good career plan. And I think Sterling is good enough for my daughter. <sighs> Third, if you are a parent, a high school counselor, or a youth leader, open your mind and explore the possibility that young people can find success without attending college. Many options include computer assisting, medical assisting, cosmetology, culinary skills, or in the trades. There's carpentry, welding, plumbing, electrical. These and many other programs are available where young people can learn valuable skills that will lead to long-term careers. So help us spread the word and help them know that these programs are available. For youth and young adults, if you like to work with your hands and think you might like to be a part of a team that gets things built, realize you can have a lucrative, successful career working in the trades. And for the rest of you, no matter how old you are, where you live, or what you do for a living, you can help me by raising the level of awareness for those that support human life by building our communities. Will you please join me today to raise the level of respect and appreciation for my good friends, the humans in hard hats? Thank you.